Bow. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I'm going to give you seven content tips to make TikTok videos that people love. Let's get right into it. Number one, writing hooks. You got to have a hook, but your hook has some science to it. So here's a couple things that'll help you think about the hook differently. Number one, it has two different parts to it. There's the audio and the visual parts of the hook, and I'm actually going to pull up some examples and we'll walk through it, and then I'm going to show you a small you know, another little nuance. All right, check this out. There's the audio and then the vid visual. The so visual is the first thing that people are going to see. You actually want to expect that more often than the audio, all right? Now, within the visual, there's two parts of the visual. What do they read and then what do they see, all right? So what do you read? Ruining classic songs, part two. But then what do you see? You immediately see this girl. She's kind of looking at the camera with a little bit of an attitude. But the visual could have been, you know, something completely different. Maybe alluding to a specific song. Maybe it would have been a classic song that everybody knows from their childhood. I don't know. It could have been something bizarre. But those are two parts of the visual. Then you have a um, the audio, right? So what's the first thing you hear? Okay, so the first thing you hear is the actual instrumental of a song. Now, here's another one, right? What do you see? The first thing that you read is how it would sound if I was on Happy by Dixie D'Amelio, and then you also see him visually set at a mic setup. Cool. Now, I could go a lot deeper into hooks in a whole other video, but for now, just remember those things. That it's split into two different parts. You have the audio and you have the visual, and the visual has two parts into it. What you read and what you see. Now, Number two on this list is writing a script. When you are creating content, it is in your best interest to write a script first, right? So don't just freestyle your entire video. Yes, you technically could, but it's best to actually break things down so you can look at the science of the hook and then what visual will be related to your hook. And then in part two of your video, what's gonna be on part two of your video, and then how are you gonna conclude your video with a payoff? Write all that out, just like a movie. It's shorter, obviously, a lot shorter, but write all that stuff out. Number three, copy artists that are doing well on TikTok already. This is how you're gonna find the formula that works for you, right? First, you wanna start to see success on the platform, so you copy the formulas that are successful on the platform. Then, you start to understand what's helping that formula work or not, right? Once you get used to analyzing that formula, breaking that formula down, then you can start to interchange different parts of that formula to reflect your own unique creativity, all right? Once you start to do that, you'll slowly start to create your own style. All right? It's a process to it. A lot of people just want to hop on and be great at it, and they don't want to go through the process. If you come right on the TikTok with the perfect formula, especially for you, then congratulations. You, you amazing. Tip number four, own an emotion. And what I mean by that is there was an artist who was in our private group, Brandman Network, and she actually had a, um, she had a video take off based on one of the strategies we had going. And she actually was not trying to like create a whole brand with that post, but that post actually tapped into the very specific emotion that resonated with a lot of people. And it was a little bit, I wouldn't say depressing, but it was definitely a little bit more introspective and down. And it was like, yo, do more of that. Like you have those lyrics that really are personable and make people feel like they see what you thinking, what you personally think and go through and they can relate to that. Do more of that. Don't try to be fancy, just do more of that. And I know as an artist, sometimes it's like, yeah, I don't want to be caught in that box. This artist, she felt the same way. I don't want to be depressed all the time. I'm not always feeling depressed. However, it was in her best interest to continue to do some introspective style videos to take advantage of that moment because these windows do not come always. That's a, that we'll get into that as like a bonus tip. But that is something that you need to double down on. Whatever emotion you strike, People are now coming to you to get into that emotion. People do that with artists in general. That's part of your job, right? Whether you want to be kept in that box or not, right? At least as a starting point is to your benefit because think of so many of the artists that you personally love. You kind of associate a vibe with them. You kind of go to them when you're in a certain emotional bag. Be happy that you now have real estate in someone's mind and heart and double down on that, all right? Don't get caught trying to, you know, escape a box before you get a chance to maximize that box. All right. 
Number five, use a headline as training wheels. Now, actually, I'm going to go back to the post that I was showing for the hook. When I say headline, it's stuff like this. How it would sound if I was on uh, Happy by Dixie D'Amelio. Whenever you see those little bubbles right at the top or some text at the top, this is what I'm referring to when I say headline. These are a cheat code. Right, and it works, it works, it works. So many people do it and it still works. Why? One, because oftentimes the first thing that happens is people read that headline before they really get into the post. And that headline literally will frame how they begin to consume the rest of the video. And now you don't have to visually set up a hook, right? And be ex be really good at filming and, and doing cuts. You can just literally write out the hook. Writing out that hook and creating some type of expectation is so much easier than mapping it out all visually, right? It's, it's a completely different talent. So how it would sound if I was on Happy by Dixie and D'Amelio? Well, you know it's about to come, come, right? The hook has already got you, and now you would be waiting to see how he sounds on that song. Cheat code, that simple. Yes, you can be successful without headlines, but these are the training wheels until you really get things going and you really understand how the formula works, all right? Now, number six, stop trying to be funny. You don't have to be funny to be successful on TikTok. I know so many people think that it's a skits-based platform, a dance-based platform. Yes, it was like that at the beginning. That was one of the things that were really popular and helped it take off. But that is not all of the platform. You can be successful on the platform without being funny. And if you aren't funny, it's in your best interest to just yeah, leave that alone, all right? Which leads me to number seven, be relatable. That simple. And a great way to be relatable, right, is tapping into the subject matter of your music or other songs. So what I mean by this is, yes, being funny can be a relatable thing, but you have songs, right, that are about a lot of different subjects, I imagine, right? Well, those subjects can be expounded on, right, and expressed through a TikTok video. You don't have to try to turn it into something funny. You put that subject in your song because it resonates with you personally somehow, all right? And that's likely going to resonate with other people. Now, how can you extrapolate that visual, right? Or that, that idea and create a visual that will resonate with the audience, period. So if you're down and out or you just broke up with a relationship uh, with somebody and you're sad because of it and depressed because, because of it, or you just broke broke up with somebody and you're happy and you feel like you're free and you feel like my life has gotten so much better, or that person broke with me, broke up with me and I missed out. I was just talking with somebody um, who's writing a song right now where, yo, her, uh, it's a literal story about her exes, all right? They aren't together anymore. And she feels blessed that they aren't together anymore. She's looking back like, yo, glad I, I missed that boat. That is a relatable topic, right? It doesn't have to be a funny topic. Now that can be made funny, but you don't have to make it funny. So like I said, number six, please stop being funny or trying to be funny. You don't have to do that always. But number seven, do be relatable. Connect, all right? That's it for this video. I will add one bonus because I alluded to it earlier. When things are working, lean in. Don't try to back off of it unless it's super random and, <laughs> and it's just some non-music related um, thing that you never want to do again. Cool. But besides that, in most cases, you can benefit from doubling down. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you would like to see some more TikTok tips. So I'm going to actually create a playlist. I'm going to drop multiple videos. I haven't decided on what all of them are yet. So if you have any thoughts or topics on TikTok that you would like, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. But one that I do have are some general tips to help you understand the algorithm. And let's see, what's one more idea I know I'm going to drop? I'm going to go a little deeper into hashtags as well. So that's it for this video. Once again, seven tips on how to create content on TikTok. Hopefully that was helpful. Bye-bye.